What are you pay for? What is, what is it for? It's for nothing to be honest. Oh. I think that is extortion. So why don't you call us put visa? We know we're paying for visa. Let us pay for visa. We know what we're paying for. Even if the visa is hundred dollar, at least we know we're paying for something. Yeah. But these things are not sanctioned. This does not. They don't make not sense. Sanctioned. They're not sanctioned. And to be funny enough, they told us fifteen thousand. We have to price, 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 price to five thousand. So what are we pricing? Is this uh, rice and beans? All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are leaving Ghana today. We are going to Ivory Coast. I'm sure you have enjoyed our Ghana content and everything. So yesterday, like I showed you guys, we drove to SDC, which is where you get a ticket, direct ticket to Abidjan, which is more safer, which is more better, which is less stressful. Yeah, that's uh, SDC in circle. You get a direct bus to Abidjan. But well, fortunately for us, the cars were all fully booked the Wednesday. And we cannot wait for extra two days in Ghana because we need to be on the move. So because of that, we are taking the other way around. Because the idea was yesterday to get a ticket, book a ticket at the STC office in Circle. Then the ticket cost 450 uh, Ghana cities from Accra to Babijan. But everything is fully booked. So another alternative was to go to Kanishi today then take a normal bus, a normal truck truck that is going to Ilube that is the border town between Ghana and the Côte d'Ivoire so we just book a cab, an Uber from here we are headed to Kanishi from Kanishi we will get a bus going to the border town they will cross manually but if you take the SDC everything will be done for you they will take, up, they take, take your passport they help you stamp it and everything is so smooth and they will not be able to extort you because you're going with a company's car but now we're going to go with normal bus like this which will mean that we're going to be the one to do our stamping and all those things so it's going to be much more difficult but we have to leave Ghana today so in this video I want to give you update on how you can travel from Ghana to Côte d'Ivoire by road so keep watching we had to go we spent five days in ghana and actually we got an airbnb which i stayed in when i was in ghana four or three years ago and the owner of the airbnb was so nice and friendly enough he gave us three rooms for 20 us dollars each person was actually paying like less than seven dollars per day so that was a very good deal we spent five days in ghana but today we are entering abidjan it's gonna be a long journey as you can see from the map it's gonna be a very long journey but we are up for it so guys are you guys ready for the long journey yes i'm ready <laughs> what can i do Alpha, you ready i'm ready i didn't sleep yesterday night so that i can sleep throughout the entire journey Abby? so how is ghana so far uh, ghana is good ghana ghana like you said ghana is like another nigeria just the other side of the same coin yeah you know so it's very comfortable the systems are quite the same you know just some minor minor difference here and there but yeah it's not something that is so big that you cannot adjust so i think i love i love saying in ghana like. yeah how about you well ghana is um like you said, Ghana is very similar to Nigeria and we're very relaxed. Unlike how we were in Benin and Togo, mm. we're on the move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Ghana, we kind of, you know, Melo. relaxed, you know, which made us stay five days. You know, even with the issue we're having, we, we had with the STC, we're supposed to go with our bus. Yeah. We're even supposed to stay like two extra days. You know, but we just decided that, man, we must leave Ghana today. <laughs> you so, we're getting too comfortable. Yeah, so Ghana, Ghana has been good. The only downside, though, is the fact that for like two days it seemed like the weather was kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, we yeah. couldn't really film the way we wanted you know but besides that everything has been fine yeah, yeah. all right so that but that's unlike ghana ghana is usually very hot uh -huh. i think it's just the weather this season yeah so guys let's a route um go to for us about the border we're going to share everything with you guys if you want to travel these borders i think this video is your best plug watch this video and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget you can also support the adventure by checking out the description you can see a buy me coffee link each coffee costs five us dollars you can buy us any amount of coffee that you want to support this movement as we tend to show you guys the movement
improvements of the ECOWAS borders and how you can easily move around without any problem. So keep watching. I'll see you guys on the move. Let's go. Medasi. Okay. Whatever give me changes. Sorry, don't give me. Alright guys. Yeah. Alright guys, let's take off one. Alright. Alright. Guys, this is not the best way to go to Code of War. But like I said earlier. We don't have any available cards in Wednesday. Um, we can't stay here till Wednesday. We have to be on the move. That's why we came here. This way you get a get a truck truck going to the western part of Kenya, the western part of uh, Ghana, like Tekorade, Cape Coast. This way you get it. So we are going to the border town, which is known as Elugo. Elugo. So we're going to border town. From here to border town is like seven hours. It's almost 400 kilometers. Elugo border. Yeah? Yeah, over here. Let's go find out the price and all that. <laughs> yes. And this is the ticket over here. The price is 180 Ghana cities from here to the border town. Don't forget, if you are taking the STC car to Abidjan direct, you are going to be paying like 480 Ghana cities. But from here to the border town, you are paying 180. So, keep watching. We'll see you guys on the road. And you see, about to see the price compared to. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. How much is 180? 180 should be less than 20k. It's a yes. That is cheaper than cheaper, cheaper than Lagos actually. Lagos to East. So I think this is the cheapest one. So I'll see you guys on the road as we go to the border town. Keep watching. Let's go. Popular. I know. Guys, we decided to stop over here to ease ourselves a bit. This is our drive over here, it's a gentleman. Friend. So this is the road trip all the way down to Abidjan. So we ease ourselves, then we continue. So we ease ourselves. So I'm going to take you guys step by step on how you can travel from road trip. How you can travel on a road trip from uh, Accra Ghana all the way to Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. So if you want to see that, keep watching. Hey guys, finally, we are in Elubo. Elubo, yeah. Elubo, this is the border town. The border of Ghana and Togo. No, no, October. sorry. Ghana, 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 yes. Uh, we are going over there like this to stamp. Yeah. Then after stamping, we take you guys to Abidjan. Yeah. Uh -huh. My friend, what's your name? Yeah. Federico. Federico. Are you Ghanaian or? I'll be Ghanaian Aborian. I'll be two countries. Uh -uh. Two in one. Two countries. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Mama, he's there for Ghana. Yeah. Papa, Cote d'Ivoire. Ah, wow. You know, see, you know, see, you know, see Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Ghana, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Wow. wow. So guys, you can see over there, that's the Ghana flag over there, that's the border town between uh, between Ghana and the uh, Ivory Coast. The only country in Africa with two names. Either Ivory Coast or Côte d'Ivoire. 
So join us. Let's go. Wow. So guys, let me. I will stop recording over here. Then when we cross over, I'll give you guys the full gist. I'll give you guys the updates. Don't forget, we pay 180 to get here from Kanish. But if we use that STC motor, we'll pay 480. But it will take us directly to Abidjan. So how do you feel living Ghana? Patron. Ah, um, Ghana was very relaxing. You know? As in? Because now once we are going to what's, where we are going now, it's yeah. walk, 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 walk. And I guess we don't it's have not the luxury of, uh, luxury of time anymore. Yeah, that's true. And fun. So, we just have to maximize what we have. Yes, guys, you hear that we don't have enough money anymore. We're managing our money. So, if you want to support the channel, kindly support the channel in the description below. You will see a GoFundMe link. Uh, you will see a Buy Me Coffee link. Kindly buy me a coffee to help us, you know, to support the adventures. So, over there, that is Ghana border. Let's see over there. So, we cross and I'll get back to you guys. Whoa! Guys, we just left Ghana. We just visited Ghana and we are on our way to Côte d'Ivoire. Actually, it's not a one border stop. You have to enter, you have to uh, exit, then you walk down. As, as, as I'm talking to you now, here is a no man's land. So we are in between Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire in a no man's land. So we just visited Ghana, we just stop our passports. We have left Ghana officially. Then let's let's go to Côte d'Ivoire. Then from there we take a trotro, a bus, three hours to Abidjan. So keep watching. This is an adventure of a lifetime, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who owns these farms? Oh, uh, it's for Ghana. For Ghana? Yeah. What of these ones? For Ghana. Ah, Mado. <laughs> Alright guys. Um we just left Ghana officially. We had so much fun in Ghana. If we had a chance, we will spend like one month in Ghana. Because Ghana feels like home. Always, you know. So, we are on the move. Let's go to the fourth country on this adventure. So join us. Don't click away. We are headed to Abidjan. Uh, actually, we paid uh, 50 Ghana cities. That is 2,000 uh, Sefa to stamp us at the Ghana immigration. And over here, I'm sure we're going to pay the same 2000 So we paid 180 from Accra to here, then 2000 to Stamp. Finally, we're arriving in Côte d'Ivoire. Actually, this is immigration point. So we'll just video a little and we'll stop. Let's go stamp our passports and we get back to you guys. We just stamped our passport into Côte d'Ivoire. But instead of being happy, being happy being in Côte d'Ivoire, I have a very big question. Why don't ECOWAS issue visas to all the ECOWAS countries? Why do, we, why do they keep extorting people in the, in, in, in the border? How much do you pay to enter? Um, we paid 5,000 surfers. That's equivalent to 13,000 naira, basically. Just uh, how much is a... Uh, how much is... Rwanda is visa free. And if I go there as a, as a Nigerian, they stamp you. Nothing like a pay for stamp. What are you paying for? What are you paying for, Charlie? We don't know. You don't know what you're yeah, paying like for? We pay for stamp. We stamp. All these African... So we pay 5,000 as an ECOWAS citizen to enter into Côte d'Ivoire. And we still pay the same 5,000 to enter Ghana as an ECOWAS citizen. So why don't ECOWAS put visa for ECOWAS people? Yeah. So that we know that you're paying for something. And we know what you're paying for. Come on. Let's get something here eat. Then we look for a border. We look for a cab. To go to Africa because I'm just so pissed, man. Because what do you pay for? I don't know. But how much do you pay? Five thousand sepa. What, what is it for? Yeah. How much do you pay to enter enter Ghana? To enter Ghana, we paid. Um, how much did you pay? I can't remember. Five thousand. Five thousand two. Yes. What do you pay for? What is what is it for? It's for nothing to be. Honest. I think oh. that is extortion. So why don't take over and put visa? We know we're paying for visa. Let us pay for visa. We know what we're paying for. Even if the visa is hundred dollar. I'm going to pay for something. So these things are not sanctioned. This does not, they don't make sense. And to be funny enough, they told us 15,000. We have to price, 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 price to 5,000. So what are we pricing? Is this uh, rice and beans? 
All right, guys. I went through Shege, according to Nigerian language. Guys, we've been passing different borders from Kotonou, Togo, Ghana, and now we are in Cote d'Ivoire, right? In all of this border, in all of this border, we have been extorted in all of them. We've been paying for each of us a minimum of 5,000 sefa, which is equivalent to 15,000 naira. For those who might want to know, 15,000 naira, when you convert it into dollars, 15,000 naira is around um, $11. Sorry, 11, yeah, $11. Now imagine paying for a trip that is on, we, we started on a low budget. Imagine paying $11. For, I mean, you, whenever you are exiting a border, you pay $11. Whenever you are entering the next border, you are paying another $11. So imagine paying $22 per person. That is more than you going to apply for a visa to fly to another country. That's crazy. And you will pay that for one person to cross into different border. And, this, and we call ourselves ECOWAS. And this is just the third country. This is the third country. How can we make we it to Senegal? Ten, ten countries. We're going to 10 countries. We, we paid and we crossed the border. Then at the entrance, they say we should, they have to search our bag or we give 500. We said, search our bag. Can you That's imagine? That's the problem. Okay, now we've been paying this um, extra fee, which we know is not legal, but we pay it. Fine, we've already paid the fee requested by, from us at the Côte d'Ivoire border. We, we boarded a bus on our way to Abidjan, right? On our way to Abidjan, we saw some drug enforcement agents. In that, um, in that checkpoint, there were drug enforcement agents, there were police officers, there were soldiers. In that one checkpoint, we were asked to come down for them to check our bags. Based on, and we, uh, please note that we were not the only one who they wanted to check. Everyone in the bus, they wanted to check everyone, which was fine by us. We came down, brought out our bags. Now we realized that the checking process was very slow, extremely slow. We are not in a hurry, no problem, take your time. We just arrived in Abidjan and this is our Airbnb in Abidjan. I can assure you, today is officially the worst day on this adventure from Nigeria to Senegal. A lot happened today, but that will not spoil the fun. Before we end this video, let me quickly give you guys a tour of this place to show you guys how I just love the mirror we have some smart TV we have wardrobe let me show you guys the toilet over here this is the washroom wow this place I love the design of this place and uh, I don't know okay this place this is the kitchen actually oh wow what is this place? Oh, they will have uh, all this. Bon appetit. They have dining here. Ah, I love the design, man. Bon appetit. Wow. That's. This is the kitchen. Uh, I don't know where the light is to so on the kitchen light. But, I'm looking for it. And this place also has a screen in case you, someone is coming from his, from outside. You can use it to monitor who is coming. Yeah. So guys, officially, this is the end of this video. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Uh, it was so hectic, like I said earlier. If possible, let uh, Ecowas start issuing visa for all the you know, citizens of Ecowas countries because. Most of this country we pay as high as we pay getting a visa. If possible, let ECOWAS issue us visa so that we know that we are paying for something. Because I keep asking these guys, guy, what do you pay for actually? But I don't know. Till now, all the way from Benin, I still don't understand why we're paying that money. I don't know if it's official. I don't know if it's not official. All I know that in every border they keep asking us for. So if, if you're trying to make an account now, to let's say you have an employer, you're trying to make an account, what do you go to say you pay for? I'll say, I'll put it under bribe. <laughs>
Yes. It's late actually. Yeah, you see? We don't we are paid well, to enter Ghana, they charge us five thousand to enter Ghana. Mm. To enter uh, Cote d'Ivoire, they say we should pay five thousand. So I don't know what we're paying for. Five thousand that is almost that's a big amount of money in era in my currency. So I don't know what we're paying for. And it's getting the more we go further, the more it's getting and it's crazy that they will tell you fifty thousand. You have to negotiate price, price. So are you, are you buying tomatoes? You have to negotiate from fifty thousand to five thousand. Doesn't make sense. Ah, no more. Anyways, welcome to Abidjan. I can tell you, Abidjan is so beautiful. When we are coming from the city, which was so mind blowing. And tomorrow, in the next video. I'm going to show you guys how beautiful Abidjan is. So keep watching. Check out the next video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe. If you can support the adventure, you can see what we're going to just to bring content for you guys, to bring uh, necessary information for you guys about crossing the borders. You know. So if you want to support the channel, check it in the description. You see a go um, buy me coffee link, buy me coffee, and uh, support the adventure. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and. Let's explore Abidjan and from Abidjan we are going to Liberia, Liberia to Sierra Leone. So keep watching all the way down to Senegal. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.